one of my staff members came and told me that he was going to miss his graduation because he had to come to the hospital for emergency surgery. And I said, well, we can't let that happen because he earned this graduation. And being a military mom myself, I know how hard they work and the commitment that he made um, to get to that point. And then she said, well, what are we going to do? And I said, well, I don't know yet, <laughs> but stand by. So when I told him what I wanted to do, I said, I, you know, I know it might sound corny, but would you just do this with me? And, and they said, well, what are we going to do? And I said, we're going to line the halls and we're going to play the Marine Corps hymn. And when he comes out of the recovery room, we'll all be standing there and everybody can congratulate him and clap for him and say congratulations, Marine, because he earned that and he is officially a United States Marine. It was perfect timing, it started the Marine Corps hymn. And when he heard it, he immediately snapped to attention as best he could on the stretcher. And everybody started clapping and telling him congratulations. And um, there was not a dry eye in the hallway, just because everybody knew how important it was to him and to his family. His parents had driven all that way to see him graduate, only to be told that he wasn't gonna make it and that they needed to meet him at the hospital. So we just had to make it the day special for them. So we went to the gift shop and I found this little card that had the poem on it that says, don't quit. But we all signed the back of it and, you know, congratulated him. And it, so it was just covered in signatures on the back. And the only thing we could find for him was the little pocket cross that was carved out of stone. So I thought, well, he could carry that with him for the rest of his life and every time he reaches in his pocket, he'll remember us.